First, choose a style. There are flat park hands, park hands, cube lights, and LED light bars. We also have a new light called the cob light, which has a stylish new body. Individual LED lights, you can see the colors that make up the colors, which include red, green, and blue, and sometimes amber and white. In integrated LEDs, the colors are mixed inside the body so that you only see one color and you never see the separate colors. Cob lights, the colors are mixed inside and it produces one large solid light. Individual LED lights can have some color separation sometimes, whereas integrated LEDs have smooth mixed colors. Most often people just choose based on appearance or price, but do know that the integrated LED lights are much brighter. Step three, choose your technology. All LED lights make up their colors using red, green, and blue as the primary colors, and then some lights have amber and white to change the colors. So the classic blue mixed with amber creates more of a periwinkle. Blue mixed with white creates a desaturated lighter sort of baby blue. And when you use blue and amber and white together, you get that uh, periwinkle color. Almost all of our lights are RGBAW, with the exception of the very uh, inexpensive RGB PAR36 light and the flat PAR RGBA light. And RGBW cube light. Step four, choose your brightness. We compare brightness using lumens. You can see here that the PAR64 is 1000 lumens and the PAR36 is 1100 lumens. That slight difference makes a big difference to the eye. Here you can see the light bar that's 700 lumens versus the wall washer that's 2000 lumens. Quite a big difference. Usually we say one light per 10 feet of backdrop or length of wall. Here we've got a three panel backdrop. So we've got a light per 10 foot section of backdrop paneling. If you just want a bit of color on your curtains, low powered light is okay. If you really want to light up a room so that your guests can see, then you need to choose higher brightness LED lighting. Step five, do you need battery operated lights? They are convenient as they require no cables, but you do have to be responsible for charging them. Step six, buy according to your budget. In this case, we've got two flat pars, one that is high bright integrated LED and one that's lower priced individual LEDs. We have a few per can options, cube lights, and we have two light bar options. We also have our new cob light. We also have something called the light cannon, which is 5,000 lumens of power that it can fill a room. Here's a chart comparing lumens and price, which you can see more power doesn't equal higher price. I hope this video is helpful for you choosing your light. I'm Mike Fisher with Eddie Light. Mm -hmm.